20 hours and counting. Chopper 11 live in Rocky Mount over the scene of a recycling plant that's on fire. Firefighters rushed to that location in the middle of the night yesterday and remain on the scene as we come on the air. And as we look live, you can see what their strategy is right there. They've got those cranes. They're trying to drag back those old cars there at the recycling yard and you can see how many streams of water they're tackling it with. They've got ladder trucks in the air and look at that all around there. There are these hoses spraying water trying to get this thing under control. Fighting that fight from mm. all angles. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Lauren Johnson. Hi everyone. I'm Steve Daniels. Yeah, this fire broke out at about 10 last night at Rocky Mount Recyclers and right now firefighters continue working as we see trying to get this thing under control. Elena Athens has been monitoring that fire all day. She's live near the scene with the very latest. Hi Elena. Yeah, 85% Lauren of this fire has now been contained, but there is still some work ahead. An eyewitness was able to capture some of the explosions that were taking place early this morning. They say it'd be blowing up too or something. Quante Bishop took cell phone video as he was trying to get into work. You can see flames and thick plumes of smoke filtering into the sky. The fire was out of control, like it was high. Bishop works down the street from the Rocky Mountain Automotive Recycling Center. He wasn't able to make it in. All of the nearby roads were blocked off as firefighters tried to get the fire under control. Some out of a movie to me. I ain't never seen no fire that big that close. The Rocky Mountain Fire Department says crews arrived on scene last night just before 1030. Hot spots have been flaring up throughout the day. Nobody was injured. The fire chief says he's not concerned about toxic chemicals being released into the air and that a number of officials have been monitoring conditions throughout the day. We have Nash County Emergency Management as well as um, North Carolina Forest Service helping us with the situation. All right, so we still don't know what sparked this fire. The department says an investigation will be done once everything is under control. But again, right now they're at 85% of this fire being contained, so about 15% more. That's the work that does lie ahead. Live in Rocky Mount, Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.